If you just got a new iPhone, you probably played around with the screen, customizing it, customizing the look and feel. I'm not gonna cover any of those things. I'm gonna cover the critical things that you need to do to make sure your iPhone is new, to make sure the battery life doesn't immediately start draining on you midway through the day. Make sure your privacy is protected on your iPhone. Make sure you're not getting spam calls and more. I'm gonna walk you through all of that, but first hit the subscribe button down below if this helps you out. It really helps me out, thanks. Now let's head into the settings app on your iPhone and let's check to make sure you have a new iPhone. You'd be surprised how many times you think you got an iPhone that's new and it's not actually new. So let's scroll down here and the easiest way to tell is tap on battery here. And now from here, tap on, scroll down, tap on battery health. Now from here, you should see maximum capacity at 100% and cycle count should be really low, like zero or one or two or 10 if you've just gotten that iPhone. Now keep in mind, I've had my iPhone for about a year, so cycle count is every time I charge it. So it's about 270. Again, if this is not around zero, then you need to return that iPhone and get a new one that is actually new. Now, after we've done that, let's walk through some steps because we're in the battery section to help your battery life and not unnecessarily drain your battery through doing things that you don't necessarily need. So let's go back here. And from here, tap on charging towards the bottom. And from here, I would recommend switching this charging limit and sliding it down to 90%. Now, what this means is every time you plug in your phone at night or whenever, it will only charge your battery to 90%, not pass it. And you might be thinking, well, that minimizes my ability to use the battery to its full extent. And that is right. However, this increases the longevity of your battery over the time. People are keeping their iPhones longer and longer. And if you plan to keep it for two, three, four, five years, you want to increase the longevity of that battery life just by toggling this down and reducing it down to 90%. That's what I keep it at. I would also recommend going back out of here and tapping on power mode and turning on adaptive power. This is a new feature in iOS 26 that allows you to essentially change it so that your iPhone can manage that battery. If you're doing something really battery intensive, it will draw the power to that specific activity and then reduce the power to other things and it will kind of actively manage your battery for you. Now, after you've done that, there are a couple other things that tend to drain your battery really quickly on your iPhone that most people don't need. The first one is, let's go back to the beginning of your settings, tap on general, and then let's scroll down to background app refresh. Now this allows all of these apps to just constantly be updating and downloading data, et cetera, in the background, even if you're not using them. So I would tap at the very top and switch this to off. This will allow apps to update if you open them up, but not otherwise. Now, after we've done that, let's also go back out of here to the very beginning of your settings. When you're at the beginning of your settings, scroll down until you get to display and brightness. Tap on that and then scroll down and you'll see always on display. This is another big culprit that will drain your battery because it essentially never turns the display off. I would highly recommend turning all of these off. If you don't necessarily really love that feature, I would turn it off just to help your battery life. Now, after we've done that, let's go back to the very beginning and check some other things as well. Next, let's make sure you're not getting spam calls and text messages on your phone. So let's scroll down to the very bottom and tap on apps. From here, let's scroll down and tap on messages first. So there's messages. Now from here, all you need to do is scroll down and I would recommend turning on screen unknown senders and filter spam text messages. This will help prevent all of those spam text messages and bots that constantly inundate you and allow you to just see the text messages that you wanna see. After you've done that, let's go back and then scroll down until we get to phone and tap on that. We're gonna do something similar on here. We're gonna scroll down and I would highly recommend call filtering, turn on unknown callers 
and spam. Now you can also screen unknown callers if you want to ask reason for calling. You can read through these and decide if that's something that you want or not. I have this switch to never because it's basically a bit weird. If a plumber is calling me, it's going to ask them why they're calling. And sometimes it just fumbles through it and I don't ever get that call or they just hang up. Now, after we've done that, let's go back to the very beginning here. Now, once you're at the very beginning, I would also recommend checking your privacy settings on your iPhone. A lot of times by default, you're sending out all kinds of analytics and information about your iPhone to Apple and other apps. So let's scroll down from here, tap on privacy and security, and then scroll down to the very bottom and tap on analytics and improvements. From here, I would highly recommend turning everything off. You can see various things, improve hand washing, improve Apple Pay, improve safety, all of these things, you don't get any benefit and you're just sending out all of your data, you're tracking your personal information, your location, your audio, all of that. I would recommend turning everything off here. You don't necessarily need to send any of this to Apple. Essentially, you don't get any benefit out of it. When you're in here, I would also recommend going back and scrolling to the top, tap on location services and make sure location services is set to as restrictive as possible on all of these apps. So you can see while using the app, it'll allow it to use your location. The arrow means that it's recently used your location. So on all of these, I would recommend doing that, setting them as restrictive as possible scrolling down to the bottom and on here, these are system services that track your location. Again, I would recommend just copying basically what I have here. So whatever I have turned on here is really essential and helpful for the functionality of the iPhone. Everything I've turned off is not that helpful. And essentially, in my personal opinion, I would rather not share my location just to get these random added features that I don't necessarily need. I would also recommend tapping significant locations and making sure this is turned off as well. After you've turned that off, I hope this all helps. I hope this introduces you to some of the security and privacy, some of the battery longevity things that help you get started on your journey with the iPhone beyond just customizing the home screen and the look and the feel of it. Again, if this helped you out, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me. Thanks, guys.